Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to graph this linear equation when given the two intercepts. Now it's important to understand when graphing, um, especially using the intercepts, is what exactly do the intercepts mean and what are we graphing on. So this is what we call a Cartesian coordinate grid. All right. And what this, what this grid includes is what we call the x-axis and the y-axis. Now on the x and y axes, um, what we have is, you know, just like if you're kind of like number line, we have units that we break them apart. And you can really break these apart on any way that you want to. It's all going to depend on a lot of problems are going to be different. I'm going to make these a little bit wider. So one, two, three, four, five. So in the positive direction, is going to be positive. And then going over to the left, which would be the negative direction. And that's for the negative uh, values of x. Now, what they mean is what these values, negative and positive, they're pretty much meaning a distance from what we could say is this point, which we call the origin. And we call it the origin because that's where also where the x and the y axis intersect. So in the, for the y axis, when we go up, that's positive. And when we go down, that's negative. OK, so I'm given two sets of information. I'm given the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So what I'm at, when we're talking about the x and y-intercept, that means those are the values, or at that x and y-intercept, that's where a point crosses each axis. So what I'm saying is the x-intercept equals 1. Well, since it's positive, it's going to be to the right. And that means the graph is going to cross when my x value is going to equal 1. So I'm going to make a nice big point, because that's going to be a solution to our linear equation. Then it says the y-intercept crosses that is at 5. So that's going to be positive 5. So therefore, that's going to be my y-intercept. So now that I've found the x and the y-intercept, to graph my line, all I simply need to do is connect these two points. Now, a line is going to be a, is going to be a set of um, infinite many points. So even though we just know the two points, that cr where it crosses the x and y intercept. But the graph is going to continue infinitely in the negative direction and infinitely in the positive direction. So I put two arrows in there, and I connect them, representing all the points that are going to make this line. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph when given the x and y intercept. Thanks.